There have been rumors for centuries about cults in the catacombs of Paris. Are these stories true? Paris, known as the City of Lights, has a dark and labyrinthine underbelly that is as fascinating as it is unsettling. The Parisian catacombs, a vast network of ossuaries and tunnels stretching beneath the bustling streets, have a rich and eerie history. Among the most intriguing elements of these subterranean spaces are the rumors and tales of cults that have allegedly used the catacombs for their secretive and, at times, occult practices. The Catacombs of Paris, a sprawling network of ancient caves, tunnels, and quarries stretching over 200 miles in length, have a rich history that dates back to Roman times. Originally established as limestone quarries by the Romans, these underground passageways served as valuable sources of building materials for centuries. However, during the late 18th century, an urgent problem arose in the city of Paris. The cemeteries were becoming overcrowded and posed serious public health risks due to their close proximity to residential areas. Faced with this pressing issue, the authorities made a bold decision that they would repurpose the abandoned quarries as a mass grave. In an extraordinary display of meticulousness and respect for the deceased, millions of bones from Parisian cemeteries were methodically arranged within these subterranean caverns. This vast ossuary became a haunting yet strangely intriguing sight beneath the bustling streets above. Finally completed in 1809 after years of careful arrangement and organization, it opened its doors to the public. Word quickly spread about this unique burial place tucked away beneath Paris's surface. People from all walks of life flocked to witness this macabre spectacle firsthand. Some were driven by morbid curiosity, while others sought solace or reflection upon mortality's doorstep. Despite the passage of time, rumors persist about clandestine cults that utilize these ancient tunnels for their mysterious rituals. Whispers of black-robed figures moving stealthily through candlelit chambers add an air of intrigue to this already enigmatic realm. The flickering flames cast eerie shadows on the rough-hewn walls adorned with occult symbols etched into centuries-old limestone. These cryptic markings seem to hold secrets from a forgotten era, enticing individuals to decipher their hidden meanings. Legend has it that as one wanders deeper into the maze-like catacombs, faint echoes of chants can be heard resonating through narrow passageways. Haunting and ethereal in nature, these distant voices possess an otherworldly quality that sends shivers down even the bravest spines. It is said that these reverberations are remnants of ancient rites performed by those who sought communion with powers beyond mortal comprehension. Through the centuries, various communities and groups have indeed used the catacombs. During the French Revolution, it was said that revolutionaries used the tunnels for meetings. During World War II, some branches of the French Resistance not only used the catacombs for shelter and planning, but also supposedly held secret induction rituals there. In the 1950s and 60s, groups of teenagers formed gangs that would party in the catacombs. Police would chase them out occasionally. Some gangs had notorious reputations like a group called the Catacomb Troglodist Empire. As recently as the 2000s, traces of satanic groups have been found in remote chambers. Makeshift black magic shrines, pentagrams, and inverted crosses painted on walls and other occult symbolism have been reported over the years. Besides Satanists, the catacombs have attracted vandals, graffiti artists, and advocates of the occult and macabre. Police vigilance increased after bones were stolen from ossuary displays back in 2009. Despite the absence of concrete evidence, conspiracy theorists continue to fuel speculation about the catacombs serving as clandestine meeting grounds for secret societies such as the Illuminati and Freemasons. These underground tunnels shrouded in mystery and steeped in history have long captured the imaginations of those intrigued by hidden agendas and covert operations. The allure of secret societies like the Illuminati, known for their alleged influence over world affairs and desire for global domination, has intertwined with the enigmatic aura surrounding Paris's catacombs. Some proponents of conspiracy theories suggest that these subterranean chambers provide a perfect backdrop for surreptitious gatherings where influential figures orchestrate their sinister plans away from prying eyes. Similarly entwined within these speculations are references to the Freemasons a long-standing fraternal organization associated with esoteric rituals and symbolism. The secretive nature of their practices has fueled suspicions among conspiracy enthusiasts who believe that they too may utilize these extensive networks beneath Paris as a rendezvous point for undisclosed meetings or ceremonies. In more recent times, groups known as cataphiles regularly explore the catacombs illegally. They hold underground parties, create art, and even screen films in cleared-out rooms. Some of these groups have been accused of conducting cult-like activities, but most are simply urban explorers, drawn by the allure of Paris's hidden underbelly. If there are one or more cults operating in the catacombs of Paris, it would be difficult to detect them if they wished privacy. It may well be in their interest if they exist to keep this information secret, and we may never know. In 2004, 
Authorities found in one of the vaults beneath the Trocadero a completely functional movie theater. It had a huge screen for movies, audience seating, projection equipment, film reels with current thrillers and vintage film noir, a fully stocked bar, and a fully functional restaurant with tables and chairs. In addition to the rumors surrounding secret cult activities within its labyrinthine tunnels, another chilling aspect that has captured the imagination of many is the alleged presence of ghosts. Legend has it that those who venture into this underworld encounter spectral figures and experience inexplicable phenomena. Numerous accounts from visitors and urban explorers claim encounters with ghostly apparitions drifting through the dimly lit corridors. Some describe encountering mournful spirits dressed in antiquated clothing, silently wandering among rows upon rows of skeletal remains. These purported encounters often evoke a sense of unease and curiosity among believers in the supernatural. As word spreads about these haunting experiences, more individuals are drawn to explore the depths below Paris in search of their own paranormal encounters. These stories of ghosts have only reinforced the belief of many in cult activity in the depths of the catacombs. The stories and rumors surrounding the catacombs and their alleged cult activities serve multiple purposes. They contribute to the grim allure of the catacombs, drawing in tourists and explorers from around the world. More subtly, these stories reflect societal fears and fascinations with the unknown, the occult, and the forbidden. They are a testament to our collective desire to uncover hidden truths, to challenge our fears, and to explore spaces that exist on the fringes of society. The catacombs of Paris are a monument to the city's past, a chilling reminder of our mortality, and a dark mirror reflecting our deepest fears and fascinations. The stories and rumors of cult activities within these tunnels, whether true or not, add another layer of intrigue to this already fascinating subterranean world. The catacombs, with their blend of history and mystery, will undoubtedly continue to captivate our imaginations for generations to come. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos.